Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're going to be playing some Yasuo. Haven't played him, especially recorded any videos for him for forever. For our star powers, we have round start, stun the strongest enemy, and then the plus one starting mana and when an ally strikes, granted one power. So some very simple star powers but still quite effective. For our relics, we're going Tempest Blade and Crown Guard Inheritance. We're gonna to try to have Yasuo on the board, and then when he levels up, he stuns everyone, probably going to kill everyone. Also, all those strikes because of our star powers are going to give him a whole bunch of extra power. We're then going to rally and hopefully end the game. Now, if you are planning on playing Yasuo, I do recommend using these two relics, works out very well. The third one is really a flex pick. We can put in whatever you like. For me, I'm gonna go with the Grand General's Counter Plan, even though it's only like half effective. So what this does, round start, create a fleeting copy of me in hand, which essentially means a fleeting copy of their champion spell. Yasuo's champion spell, stun an attacking enemy, create a Yasuo in your deck. So the spell itself is obviously only really functional if the enemy is attacking, but I still like it because it gives you a great amount of defensive utility and stun the attacking unit for two mana, very, very good. But then also, if someone does kill your Yasuo, you have that fleeting copy that you can then play, so it also counts as a bit of a survivability option as well. That being said though, it is more of a flex pick, so you could put other relics there if you preferred. Now, if you appreciate all this Path of Champions content, liking and subscribing is greatly appreciated. We also have an awesome Discord, which is a great place to discuss all things Path of Champions, or if you just wanna hang out with some like-minded individuals, also a great place for that. There's a link in the description down below. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's see what we get for our first power here. Fury is actually pretty good. I think we're actually gonna go here. Yasuo with Fury is pretty crazy because he's gonna be getting a lot of kills and so he just scales out of control. Yeah, I think let's actually go here even though both of these are pretty good, especially Quick Draw. Let's grab that Fury. All right, Karma with Power Overwhelming. This actually is a decent opening hand considering both of these have some extra draw on them. So yeah, this actually isn't bad because essentially we can play this card and then just immediately get another one. So it's more valuable than just the card itself. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Alright, we're going to play Yasuo right away so that he can get some strikes off. If they attack with Karma, we already have a stun lined up and ready. But we can just play this and stun both of these. Alright, so we're not going to benefit from, from the elusive, but honestly, I don't really care about that. I more just want the draw at this point. Alright, so that's stunned. Yeah, I think let's just try to get some good amount of damage down. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Alright, we're two away from leveling up, but we could just do that. I think we could stun this and recall that, even though look at their play effect off again, it should be fine. Yeah, that'll be good. Terrain here is a bit no cure. Although I probably could have ordered that I a bit better. Only one path, my own. My that way he leveled up with the other strike and killed the other unit. I do all Yeah, I guess we'll just go like this. What issues we're running out of cards? We're actually not gonna play this. 
just because we don't want um, <laughs> we don't want to run out of cards. All right, so we're specifically playing the ones that are Yasuo Steals Tempest because that way we're shuffling another card back into our deck to try to offset the fact we're drawing more cards. Alright, so they should get struck and killed. And we'll just attack and try to end the game. Alright, we're going to recall our own unit. That will buff up our Blade Twirler. And potentially GG. Figures. Uh... We, right now we just have to try to not kill ourselves from drawing too much. Luckily we're going to just keep shuffling cards back into our deck. We just have to hope they actually attack. Good. So again, all of the Yasuo ones. And yeah, we'll just attack here. Alright, so this should be the end of the game now. Alright, GG. This is going to be way too expensive, like 7 cost. Like, yes, the effect is good, but that's a little too much. Manifest tit Titanic unit. I do love Go Hard, though. Yeah, I think we will go with this. Also, since it's such a cheap card... We might actually be able to get it off a couple times and actually get enough Sigils of the Storm to play something. Also, with our Yasuo, we might be able to buff him up enough that he could count as Titanic and consume those Sigils, maybe. So we might be able to cheat him out early. So yeah, we'll grab this. Alright, support champion Swain. Let's get Swain. Uh, LeBlanc's not bad. Yeah, I think we'll go for this Black Cleave of LeBlanc. Thorn of the Rose, having that stun. Pretty solid. Shop, gold chest, Daptatron. Let's go for the shop here. So, Sejuani with unstable inventory. Uh, let's get rid of both of these. And yeah, we're fine with the rest. Yeah, we don't want to play the Thorn of the Rose because they'll just challenge and kill it. I think LeBlanc will be fine. Although they'll probably challenge and kill the Blade Scout. Huh. Interesting. I do have a theory that the AI doesn't actually look at the stats you currently have. It looks at the stats that the card normally has, because LeBlanc normally just has two health, I believe. Yeah, because with the Black Cleaver, it doubled her health, so she normally she'd be at two health. So normally if they attacked here and we didn't have the extra health in Black Cleaver, that would have killed her. So instead of trying to kill the unit that actually they could kill, they went for the one they couldn't. The AI for Path of Champions is really interesting. There's some really weird patterns you don't really pick up on at first. Alright, let's attack like this. Dealing a good amount of damage. This land is 
All right, I think let's go for Thorn of the Rose. We'll probably just use a Steel Tempest and kill them when they... Well... Let's actually hold off. We want to have enough mana to see if they play another card. All right, smart choice. Nice, I like it. Good job. <laughs> Alright, let's do a Thorn of the Rose. And we'll just be able to rally and end the game. Granted, the rally's not really needed, but. Oh my word, the animations take forever sometimes. Alright, they shouldn't be able to stop this. GG. Alright, Ravenous Flock, this is a great card to get. Granted, some of these others aren't bad as well, but yeah, this is great for Yasuo. Probably gonna get that. Probably gonna get that. Um, your spells and skills deal two extra damage. So that would help Go Hard. That would also help Ravenous Flock. That uh, would help LeBlanc's champion spell. So it wouldn't help that much, but it is a fun ability, and yeah, with Ravenous Flock and Go Hard could be fun, so not optimal, but it'll be fun. Let's go for it. Let's buy one copy of this for the item, one copy of that for the item, and let's actually get another copy of this just because it's such a good card. Two copies of it. <laughs> Alright, so we have Jin with Unstable, Boctopus. Let's go here. All right, let's get rid of these two. Really want to hold on to our go hard now that we got a power pretty much just for that one other ability. All right, still no Yasuo, not wonderful. One thing with Yasuo is we do have a decent amount of draw built into our kit. I never miss. In ring, All right, not a big deal. And sure, let's just kill that. Um, don't think we're going to play any of those, so it doesn't really matter. Ah, perfect. Um, they're going to play Jin. Let's attack first. Get some damage down before they have a blocker. And then we can play our uh, Yasuo. Fine, but let's go ahead and kill him. Ah, uh, yeah, I think the stun two enemies will be pretty good. Huh, sure, let's... Well... I guess let's maybe build out our board a little bit so we can try to end the game next time we attack. Alright, we'll pass. Oh, well, that's a little sad. We're stunning instead of blocking because we are trying to get him to level up. Alright, we'll attack. They'll probably block, but we'll be able to rally this round. Our name again. 
I mean, fine, I guess. It's funny, this is gonna get the cost reduction from Sigil to Storm. So let's actually drain that, get some more Sigils going. Out of mana, we'll just play this, get one last stun, rally, end the game. Turn back while you can. No cure. Also, sorry if my voice still sounds a little bit off. No still sick. Tomorrow. Even I, have good days. I think I got bronchitis and been sick for the past couple weeks, so that's been fun. <laughs> GG. Uh, Deny, not bad, but I really like Hunt the Weak, actually. I think it's pretty fun making them discard their hand, or cards from their hand. And normally this is going to probably be too expensive. So yeah, let's go here, but this wall would also be a valid choice. Alright, Boctopus, what do we have? So this will cost 10 health. I think we're fine. One extra draw, epic item. I think I'd actually like the double draw from this better, especially because sometimes we're going to play this at the start of the game where we don't have anyone on the board, and then it feels really bad. Oh, also, <laughs> remember that because of our elemental wins, this is going to hit way harder. Awesome. All right, yeah, let's grab this one. We don't have a lot of gold, but let's still go to the shop, see if we can get a decent common power. Oh, nice. Stacking common powers is always fun. So Recall, remember that we'll strike that unit because of our Yasuo. So that actually has potential. Uh, but I think I'll just save the gold. Alright, so we have Fiora with Power Overwhelming. Alright, let's get rid of Bloody Business and hold on to all the rest. Smell that? A bite to cook it! Alright, we will pass. We want them to attack. We don't want them to kill or hurt our Blade Twirler. Think you're fast? You're also, sometimes it's good to leave one unit on the board so that they can keep getting stunned. I, dare you. I think let's just attack before they play any blockers. Now who's got the upper hand? Play another Blade Twirler. Also, they'll have one unit on the board, so let's go ahead and kill this one. Hmm. I think we'll hold on to the Obliterate just as kind of like a oh shit button if Fiora gets out of control. But we should be fine. So yeah, I would want to play Yasuo, but we're just going to play the Steel Tempest. Alright, wonderful. <laughs> we could play another Blade Twirler. Um, sure, that's actually kind of funny. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. I think let's just attack. This could be actually be funny. And we're going to stun this. Because they have Overwhelm, they're not, their attack's not going to fizzle. But since we're stunning them, all of their power is going to escalate. And we're just going to actually end the game. And I don't think they should have, to have any responses to this. Nope, GG. Oh, that was fun. That is something you start to pick up when you've played this game so much. Uh, Savage Shield will be fine. Yeah. As you know, pretty much all the spells and units they have in all of the different decks. And so, you know, some will have only slow spells, so they won't be able to respond, where others will have, like, fast or burst spells, and so you might have to play a little bit slower or really work around those. 
That's why when, I'm, when I say, like, I don't think they should be able to stop this, it's because I don't think they have any spells that are capable of moving at fast speed to stop our attack. Shield's not bad. This was actually okay, giving you a little bit more damage. But let's use a reroll, try to get something better. Random. Like, yeah, let's, it'll be fun. Let's, let's see what we get. Um, tactician, I hate this one. <laughs> so if you don't know what this does is... It'll select like three of your powers and say like, oh, you give this to me and I'll give you a random one that's better. But normally it takes like the three powers you actually want to hold on to and it's just, you can't re-roll it at all and it's pretty much the worst node in the game, generally in my opinion. Uh, let's go for this epic item chest. So Tom Kench with Unyielding Determination. All right, we now need to look at all of our units to see what they get for their item. Uh, these three are fine. Let's get rid of these Shadow Assassin. Blade Twirlers are amazing. They're pretty much your strongest unit in your deck, other than uh, Yasuo. <laughs> we could use this and kill it, but I think, yeah, this should do enough as well. Nice. Um, sure, let's play this just to open up our hand a little bit. And making the opponent discard some of their cards is actually quite helpful. Let's actually attack first. That way we get the plunder effect off. Play our blade twirler. Then we could use this and kill them. Um, but we won't because it won't actually free up our hand and actually make it even more cluttered because the evoke would go off twice. And then this way we have someone that can get stunned at the start of the next round. So I think we're fine like this. Alright, they're going to play their Tom Kench. We could play Yasuo. Yeah, I think we'll probably sacrifice this unit, the Tail of the Dragon. Yep. Your attack is obvious. Oh. So this would deal a lot of damage. Hmm, sure, let's try to make sure he's not a threat. Fun fact, if you silence a target, it gets rid of stun. So if we'd silence that unit right there, the stun would be gone. Uh, we have too much draw at this point. Alright, let's play a bunch of blade twirlers. Big blade for a little warrior. Well, if it ain't the eyes of the operation. Alright, so we're close to leveling up. Yeah, let's just attack and do as much damage as possible. Then we'll stun and try to rally. I do all right. Everyone hunters. All right, that's fine. His animation takes so long. <laughs> it's such an awkward pause. All right, so we'll go here, get through the first health bar, and then these two will finish them off. GG. All right, so reputation that costs two less. We go down to a six cost. Then reduce my cost by the most expensive champion, so four. So this could be a two cost rally. 
Sigil of Malice would be fun, though, because deal two to anything, and we have the <laughs> Elemental Winds. I think we'll go for the Sigil of Malice, but this actually could be quite good. Making this cost two less, that's actually pretty crazy. Don't really want to do Summoner Stone. Yeah, I think this will be... Yeah, just so good. Alright, Gangplank with Perfected Mana Flow. <laughs> oh, some of this stuff's crazy. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of this. Two cost refills its mana. Always need to check what everything got. Hmm. I think I'm actually fine with passing to see what they do. Alright, let's... Go ahead and kill these, I think. Then let's start playing our Blade Twirlers. Then I think I'm going to play a Blade Twirler next round, and then a Wind Chaser. Alright, that's fine. Just don't kill our Blade Twirler. Oh, so they're probably going to play Gangplank. Yep, there it is. Alright, stun both of those. Oh my word, we could just stun them again. I think we're going to. Yep. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna... Annihilate them. Alright, three damage here. Alright, more damage to both of them. And let's nuke their Nexus a little bit. <laughs> Will we end the game right here? Ah, sad. All right, we're gonna open attack and just end the game. Uh, wonderful. GG. I like getting more of these in our deck. We have too much draw as it is. Yeah, let's let's go here. Not crazy about anything here. All right, I'm fine with that. Let's go for the champion item chest. So Victor with unstable inventory. Ah, uh, pretty solid. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> I think let's still play the Blade Twirlers, try to get them stacking on the board as soon as possible. Alright, I guess I was waiting to go hard on something. <laughs> Oh, don't do that. What do I do? What don't I do? Um, not a massive fan of that. Let's play a Thorn of the Rose and then potentially play a Wind Chaser. I'm betting that they're gonna play another card. Let's make this a nice little number. Think you're fast? 
Yeah, that's what I figured. I'll do what must be done. All right, good. So they don't have the items on it. Let's go hard on this. Uh, let's go for Captain Farron. Granted, we're pretty much probably not going to play those. Although, we'll make this free. Alright. Everything's easy. If only we had our Yasuo. Here's our chance. So they're going to want to play their victor. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. They play victor. We immediately stun. Oh, we should have enough damage to just end the game. Yep, GG. This is actually really, really good. It's... If we didn't have so many crazy other powers, I would probably get this, because it's just a very strong effect. But right now, I think our board's going to be too cluttered, and we have too many other powerful things. But if you see this, normally it's something you want to pick up. It's pretty good. Uh, here, though, I think let's go for the Ravenous Flock. All right. Quick Strike Blade. That could be fun. Shadow Totem. It's okay. Yeah, I think let's go for Quick Strike Blade, especially if we play Yasuo once he's already got these other effects. He'll just Quick Strike, stun everything, rally. Yeah, it should be, should be good. What do we want to cut? Kind of bloody business. We're not really going to play this ever. Everything else, there's like a time and a place for it. This, very rarely are we ever going to play this. Especially because it's not getting increased damage from the elemental winds, where some of our other things are. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the worst. Alright, Azir with duplicate. Pretty good. Good, let's get rid of this, too expensive for now. The block will increase our odds of Yasuo. I'm, yeah, I'm fine with this. Could be better, but not worth getting rid of these at the moment. Huh. I think let's just pass and bank the mana. Man, when they attack, it's gonna suck. Alright, let's immediately stun that, because if they attack, that'd be like 20 damage or more. That'd be really, really bad. I think we'll hold off on this until later. But yeah, when they attack, it's going to be bad. Let's open attack first. I guess not quite open attack, but... Interesting. Okay, so there goes all of their mana. I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Hit that a little bit. Oh, killing one of these will be pretty good. Crescent Strike, wonderful. That's what we were kind of hoping for. So we could use this to rally right now and attack again, but I don't think we'll really have enough damage to actually end the game. Let's use this because one, the hero's horn will give us another stun, probably, which will be good, but two, it might make them get rid of their one cost unit. 
Okay, they didn't even have their one cost unit. Their cheapest was a four cost. So Azir is one of the annoy most annoying one cost units where they attack, they have a free attack on it. Alright, so let's not attack immediately. Yeah, we can play this. Oh, wonderful. Man, they did not have very good draw this time. Granted, if they were able to attack, it would have been massive damage. Good thing they didn't. GG. All right, interesting match. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go for a mana deposit. So Farsight is good, but quite often we're having the issue of like, we could play Yasuo, or we could play something that would end the game. Uh, so this just makes sure we have enough mana to actually play Yasuo and then potentially end that game or that round. So Farsight good, but I think this will be probably better. All right, what can we get for power? <laughs> Uh, sure, that's, this is just, this is a silly run, we're having such interesting, uh, it's, that's fun. Alright, Nautilus with power overwhelming. Uh, legendary powers are so interesting. Uh, let's get rid of this one. And we're fine with the rest. I feel like I go months without seeing any, and then suddenly it's like every game you're getting one to two every time. Because, yeah, like, before, like, this week, I think, I, like, was barely getting any legendaries. But then this week, I've been just getting tons of them. Uh, yeah, we can attack like this. So he'll die and then heal his nexus before we've really done damage to it. Granted, these two are the main culprit for <laughs> making me have too much draw, because every time they strike, they draw. Which is good, we just have too many cards. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kill that. I guess we'll go here. Oh, right, it's gonna go off again. Our hand is not big enough for all of these cards. Alright, we'll play this just to free up some room in our uh, hand. Don't want our cards to just get obliterated. Uh, double Misfortune will probably be pretty good. Or not misfortune, oh my word. Ugh, double up long. Let's use this to damage him, and then we could use the Ravenous Flock to kill him. We want to make sure we don't have any blockers. Hey look, Yasuo, yay! GG. The black rose blooms once more. Underestimate. I dare you. And there goes our Yasuo. <laughs> uh getting more blade twirlers, that'll be pretty good. That's not bad. Also not bad. 
Also not bad. <laughs> Everything here is pretty good. Our board's been pretty full. I feel like I'd rather get something else. Also, our hands have been too full. Don't really... Sure, that'll be fun. That's the thing. I wanted fun powers. I think I'm actually going to use a reroll here. A lot of the stuff here is just too expensive. Or we're already having too much draw as it is. I guess we'll buy one copy of this. And I think I'm fine with not spending any more. Alright, Jinx with Duplicate. Alright, pretty good opening hand. We have our Titanic Yasuo. Awesome. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Yeah, let's go like this. And let's play this just to kill everything they have. Don't really want them attacking and triggering their super mega death rocket. <laughs> bye bye, Poro. Uh, let's bank the mana. We want to play some Blade Twirlers. They're not playing anything. Alright, GG. Alright. This should be good. Although, play... Deal 2 damage to a unit. Huh. Yeah, I think I'd rather go here. Alright, Lulu with power overwhelming. Alright, let's get rid of this since we know we're going to draw it. Um, let's actually get rid of a couple of these. That looks a bit better. Also, we have the attack token. So we can play our double Yasuo again. And they have scouts. Although it's going to be kind of wasted here. Oh, well. Quick footwork. Alright, so we won't attack with this because she'll just kill it. Although it's going to get transformed at the end of the round anyways, so... If she blocks it, that gives us more damage on their Nexus. Play other block. If they attack, we'll just stun them. Yeah, we'll just stun. Come on, don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Alright, let's get our scout attack off, which will probably end the game. GG. I whisper truth into lies. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Alright, Aurelian Soul with level up. I think let's get rid of the Concussive Palm. Also, I just now realized you can actually click the cards to re-roll them. I always hit down here, but you can actually just click the cards. I've been playing this game for years and never realized that. Oh, uh, that's funny. Actually, let's get rid of the go hard because it's Farsight. That's hilarious.
I will probably just play our Yasuo again. All right, double Yasuo again. I think, I think I'll save this when we actually need to stun two units. Yeah, getting more of the desktop diplomacy will be pretty good. Sure. Kill their one unit. Although I guess the one issue is that they won't have someone to let us stun. That'll be a little bit sad. Oh, never mind. Right. Uh... All right, let's play double blade twirler. Get some extra stuns going off so they can scale up a little bit more. Alright, we get the amount. Not quite. Sigil of Malice is just out of range. Although, once we do this, we should get enough strikes off that the Sigil of Malice will cost less. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. All right, we got the reputation effect off. They don't have an extra health bar, right? No. <laughs> GG. All right, that was a pretty crazy run. A lot of fun. Really hoped you guys enjoyed it. Yasuo is a pretty solid champion, great for both adventures and monthly challenges, and this build actually works out great for both of those as well. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, we do have our own channel Discord, great for discussing everything Path of Champions or just hanging out with like-minded individuals. Click the link in the description if you want to join in, and I hope you all have a great day.